Scott Morrison is now clear to call the federal election after avoiding an 11th hour complication over controversial pre-selections. A New South Wales court has rejected a challenge to candidate selection. If the legal action had succeeded, it could have sparked more chaos inside the Prime Minister's own division of the Liberal Party. Here's political editor Andrew Proben. Everyone get in. Have you got your job in there? Selfies at the servo to celebrate lower prices at the pump. We've seen 20 to 30 cent falls already all around the country. Scott Morrison punting that cheaper fuel will supercharge the coalition's election chances. This didn't happen by accident. The Prime Minister asserting the halving of federal fuel tax is a side benefit of an improving bottom line. Cost of living relief that's been provided by good economic management. This reckless rorting and wasteful spending must stop. Labor supported the temporary cut to fuel excise and one-off cost of living payments, but offered this dose of reality. Petrol prices and interest rates will be about to rise again no matter who wins. The shadow treasurer says the national priority must be rebuilding communities devastated by recent floods. A state Liberal MP again attacking the federal response, which she claims was lacking. The community attitude towards the federal government is very hostile at the moment. I would say it's on fire, actually. I'll do one lap. Catherine Cusack, the latest Liberal to publicly savage the PM. I can't bring myself to vote for this government after what occurred here. Our commitment into New South Wales for the flood response is $2.1 billion, and a billion of that is already in the pockets of those who've needed it most. Despite the vicious acrimony inside the New South Wales branch of the Liberal Party, there was actually some good news for the Prime Minister today in his home state. The New South Wales Court of Appeal dismissing a legal challenge that threatened the validity of up to a dozen Liberal candidates. This clears the way for Scott Morrison to visit the Governor-General by week's end. It's an excellent outcome and we can now get our candidates on the ground and, and get underway. He should call the election, let Australians know when the date is. Good luck in the election. Thank you very, very much. Got to win. We, well, we're working hard at it. Within six weeks or so, we'll all know. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra. For more on the PM's win in the courts today, let's bring in state political reporter Ashley Raper. Ashley, how damaging has this legal challenge been to the Liberal Party in New South Wales? Juanita, this has revealed deep factional divisions within the New South Wales Liberal Party. And this acrimony has played out so publicly through the legal challenge, but also through a number of Liberal MPs speaking out about it. Just how damaging it is to the Liberal brand at the ballot box is unclear. But it has put so many of the party's candidates on the back foot because they're getting into the race just days before an election is called. And there's a big question over whether some grassroots members are going to help them campaign. There is a lot of anger that they didn't get an opportunity to select their candidates because they were hand-picked by the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. So it could be a rocky start to the campaign, Juanita for the Liberal Party in New South Wales. Ashley Raper reporting there.